So hey, this is Pop Culture Guy. I'm here to review Thoroughbreds and Ray Player One. Like, Thoroughbreds is such a slow film, slower than the guy. I tried to make my caramel mocha macchiato with an extra, like three extra shots of espresso. I mean, seriously, how slow do you have to be? It's a well-written film that stars Olivia Cook and Anya Taylor Joy. Two great actors, not saying actresses. There's no identifying in here. Not in here. And Antal Zolchin in this actor's last performance. You really feel it, bro. You really feel it right here. And it's all about how Joy and Cook's characters were used to be friends. They get back together and how they both plot to kill Joy's stepfather who is very emotionally abusing. It's like such darkness. It's like such a dark feeling in here. well told, well directed, and while it definitely does not show a lot of blood, it, when it does it pulls it off well. And I so give Thoroughbreds an 89% and place it at number 3. Like, Ray Player One is such a fun film. It's fast, unlike the previous film. Faster than that guy who tried to make my watermelon flavored, peach flavored, mocha jamba juice. I mean, I, how can you be so slow with that? How? Steven Spielberg directs, and he's this guy who made the films like a hundred years ago. Like, 70s, 80s, whatever. And it's set in the future that's a bit desolate where people play this virtual reality game that's all about pop culture where they get to play as these famous figures like say Batman or Freddy Krueger or even get to pilot like say a Mega Godzilla or a Gundam or it's great to drive in a Batmobile from the Adam West series from like ugh, so long ago. The way this film views people who love pop culture is a bit offensive. Olivia Cook once again stars alongside Ty Sheridan, Ben Mendelsohn, and Mark Rylance as a character who I feel like can most identify with. The film is fun. Has a lot of great references, sometimes a bit too many references to really see them all. It is just a missed opportunity that Cook plays a character who has this birthmark on her face and it's barely noticeable and she's like all ostracized. Hey, we're millennials, we're always ostracized. So, yeah, I give Ready Player One a 95% and place it at number two. So, those are my reviews. You offend me in some way, I'll come after you. I will sue you. I will feel traumatized and I will go after you in some way. Bye-bye.